Hey everyone, welcome back to MoonbitX, your go-to channel for all things crypto. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that always creates a buzz in the crypto world, Bitcoin halving. Let's break it down in simpler terms. In this video, we will discuss what is Bitcoin halving, why it happens, and what are the consequences generally noted after a Bitcoin halving. Let's understand what Bitcoin halving is. Bitcoin works like this. Miners use computers to solve puzzles, secure the network, and earn Bitcoin. But here's the catch. The reward they earn gets cut in half every 210,000 blocks. Think of blocks like pages in a digital ledger storing transaction info. Each block stores information about Bitcoin transactions, like who sent how much to whom. Every time a new block is added, the reward gets closer to halving. In 2009, miners earned 50 Bitcoins per block. After the first halving, this dropped to 25 Bitcoins then 12.5. Now it's 6.25 Bitcoins per block. After the next halving, it'll drop to 3.125. There will be 33 halvings in total, and Bitcoin's max supply will cap at 21 million coins. This system keeps Bitcoin scarce, kind of like gold, making it unique and valuable. So why does BTC have this halving process in place? Bitcoin has a hard limit. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoins. Halving slows down how quickly new Bitcoins are created, ensuring there's not too much in circulation. Kind of like keeping a rare collectible rare. Think of it like gold. Gold is valuable because there's not much of it on Earth. Similarly, Bitcoin halvings make sure it stays scarce, which makes it more valuable over time. Let's understand what happens after a Bitcoin halving. Think of a lemonade stand that suddenly cuts its supply in half. If people still want the lemonade, or to say the demand of the lemonade is the same and the supply is half, the price per glass goes up. That's what usually happens with Bitcoin after a halving. After a halving, history shows that Bitcoin's price tends to go up. Why does this happen? Two big reasons. First, miners get fewer Bitcoins as rewards, so the supply of new Bitcoin slows down. Second, demand from people like you and me often stays the same, or even grows, so the price tends to increase. It's classic supply and demand. If you're just getting started with crypto, a halving can be a great time to learn and prepare. Historically, Bitcoin prices have risen in the months and years after a halving. But remember, this isn't a guarantee. Always do your research and think long term. Crypto markets can be unpredictable, so it's important to invest carefully. Thank you for watching our video. For more such informational content, stay tuned with Moonbit X. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon for more such videos.